before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today it is Sunday the 24th of January and today I'm vlogging because I will be having a little bit of a lazy Sunday today. Hence why I do not have any makeup on, I literally look so tired. My skin has been breaking up because I have not been doing my skincare lately. I literally look as if I'm about to die. But hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I think I woke up around half ten today and I had some potato waffles and beans for breakfast which I can just say it was delicious, like I ate it all up because I was absolutely starving. Every morning I do wake up really hungry now for some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm eating more during this lockdown or what but I've been eating a lot more. And to add to that, my mum has actually bought me a pick and mix bag from the company thiscandy.com so last week she texted me asking me what her, my favourite like the top 10 sweets were and I had to choose them on the website and I chose all these so I chose some the giant straws, cola bottles, rhubarb and custard which are the best sweets and pick and mix ever I also chose some cola bottles because who doesn't love cola bottles I mean come on um, some like fizzy belts, fizzy peaches which I've not had in years but are delicious some blue raspberry bonbons, some gummy bears, a foamy bananas, which I do love as well, some rainbow pencils, and what else? I'm not quite sure, but there is some other sweets in there, but it looks delicious, and I will put a link to this down below, but it looks so nice, and I think she wants to try and fatten me up or something, but I'm not complaining because this looks so nice. The sweet selection on the website was so good. But yeah, she bought me them. But yeah, um, like I have had a lazy morning today, to be honest. I've just been chilling. Um, and yeah, and the time is currently 10 past two. I've not had some lunch yet. So I think I'll go make some lunch. Up. I think I'll probably have like a pot noodle for lunch because it's so easy. And my favourite flavours of pot noodle are the chicken and mushroom ones and the curry ones. They are so nice. I've never actually tried the beef and tomato one. But I love the chicken and the curry one, like those two are nice. And I also have a little bottle of a Diet Coke because I love my fizzy drinks even though it's really bad for you. So yeah, um, I think I will go and make some lunch. Hey, if you boil the kettle and put it in the, what's it called, a pot noodle pot. Also, I do have a massive spot on my nose, lovely. Honestly, I'm breaking out, it's so disgusting. But this is the lockdown life right now, isn't it, to be honest? Pot noodle time. I'll take this mango chutney out. I love the curry one so much. Um, leave a comment down below of your favourite flavours of a pot noodles because this one is so good. I love this one so much. So I put the lid on that. Oh, it smells delicious. I know that these are not the healthiest, so I'm not promoting these for unhealthy eating. But if you want to make like a quick lunch in a lockdown every once in a while i recommend these they're actually 50p in p&m if you want to get your hands on them but yes i am aware that they aren't the healthiest and they're not really nutritional some people are going to judge me for this but i actually pour all the water out in the sieve only because um these are so so messy to eat so sorry for anybody who hates me right now but it is the easiest way to eat a pot noodle i'm not gonna lie but oh it looks so good and then i pour it back in there again i'm back in my room it is so sunny today i have not made my bed today which i apologize about but outfit of the day i have a dior top on from forever i think i bought this for like six pound fifty but the quality is so good it's like like a white writing and pink flowers behind it and it's black but the material is excellent quality for six pounds like it's really really nice and then these pink joggers are from sheen honestly i have not ordered off sheen in ages i don't want to make a, like a haul like i don't want to make an order from there but i have just made a little order from Vova, so there could be a little Vova haul coming soon who knows you have to wait and see Stay tuned on my channel to maybe see a Volvo haul soon. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited. But yeah, and these are like pink ribbed ones, but they are like baggy on me, but I love them because they're pink and they're really comfortable, so who cares? And I also have my pink slippers on from Primark, which I love so much. I got these for Christmas off my mother. 
Thanks, mother, for the pink slippers. Love them. Speaking of my mother again. Oh, my God. What the hell is that on my bed? Oh, it's a, I think it's a poisonous ladybird. It's, like, black and with red dots. Can you see that? It's... Oh, what the... Oh, I, I want that off my bed. If these ones poisonous, would someone be able to let me know if these ones are poisonous? As it has red dots on it instead of black dots, which I'm quite concerned. Oh, it's gonna fly! It's gonna fly! It's not even in focus. I can't. I can't tell if it's in focus because it's so sunny. But it's. I think it's maybe poisonous. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really like an insect expert, but can. So, oh my god, it's flying! Look at its wings! Oh my god! Right, I think I'm gonna have to go and kill that. Operation Kill the Ladybug or whatever you call it, Ladybird. Oh no. Do I even have any tissues in my room? That is, that is lethal. This could be poisonous. I hate to kill animals, but sometimes you've got to, if they may be poisonous. And this one's like black and red and I'm not quite sure about that. Um, see you later. Happy life in the bin. Thank you very much. Oh, panic over guys. <laughs> Hopefully, he does not build in a nest in my room somewhere because I'd be absolutely terrified. Anyway, so speaking of my mum earlier on, um, she actually bought me something else. I mean, she's spoiling me a lot lately. She did buy me a pink velvet top from H&M in the sale for £4. I did put it on my Instagram. I'll put a picture of the top on the screen now because it's really nice. £4 in the sale. Honestly, H&M have some really good sales on at the minute and also Zara do as well. But she actually bought me some black leather look pants from new look for 16 pounds um i do have a couple of pairs of these i have um, a legging version of these from new look and also like a thicker material one from river island but as i wear them all the time they're kind of going a bit thin so I needed a new pair so i'll try these on because i love these pants so much and 16 pounds it's not too bad for like a, a pair of black pants, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'll try these on and hopefully they will fit because I love these pants so much. Oh my god, guys, these pants are the perfect fit lengthwise and size wise. These are in a size six, and my River Island pair are like so long for me. Um, because I, I am only five foot one, and like a lot of pair of jeans are always too long for me, and like the pants and everything. But these are the perfect fit, they go down to my ankle and they fit so well i have been putting a little bit of weight on uh, lately um which i am kind of happy about as i have always like struggled to put weight on um during like my whole life really but yeah these are very nice i love them so much i will be keeping these these are 10 out of 10 have a look on you look if you want to grab yourself a pair of leather pants from new look because they are very nice a lovely material a very stylish and they will go with absolutely everything trust me i wear mine all the time hence why the material has gone so thin because they're just like breaking on me but yeah these are absolutely lovely and oh, the material is so soft but yeah thanks mother j again for this lovely gift i'm going to try a few of these now i'm so excited I can't believe she got me this. Um, it must have been a lot of money, I would have thought, but it looks so nice. So I will try and open it now if I can. Oh, perfect. Oh, it smells so sweet. I think the first one I will try is a rhubarb custard because they are my ultimate favourite sweets. I love them so much. Who else loves a rhubarb custard sweet? Oh, mm, that is so good. Mmm. It's really weighty, man. Really good. Mm, wow. That is beautiful. Mm. So I'm about to clean my room and here are the things that I will be using to clean my room today. So I will be using a microfiber cloth to dust in my room. I will be using an extendable duster to reach up like in the corners. My ceilings in my room are like honestly so tall and obviously I am only five foot one so i won't be able to reach like on my scenes obviously because they are super tall um her fabulosa pink grapefruit the kitchen spray which i absolutely love so much it smells so good i also have like a microfiber 
the pad to clean up all the dirt and finally to finish off i'll be using the 1001 carpet fresh fresh linen spray which smells of like a cotton and it just smells really good and fresh and a nice soft scent so yeah on my carpet i'll be using that today to make them smell good i have to give this room a little dust on a clean because it does get very dusty very easily and i do have a big room as well so it just take a little a while to get it all nice and clean but it's so worth it in the end because it just smells so good the room is all lovely and clean there is no better feeling than having a clean room even if you guys are bored in lockdown head over to bnm and buy some like carpet spray fabulosa spray and a clean your room having a clean room will make you feel so much better and will also to make you very motivated as well to do things i love having a clean room i made my bed i have actually made a chip in my bed right there because i had my ring light on my bed as so i had to hoover the carpet and i usually put it on my bed to keep it out of the way and it kind of fell off and it's chipped my bed which is fun <laughs> but not to worry um I did actually miss a parcel yesterday from Hermes. It was actually for Scott's a birthday present. Oh my God. Scott's a birthday present because his birthday is in a week. And I did order this item like a couple of weeks ago. And it's only it just arrived like in the UK kind of thing. So um, I've had to text my Hermes courier to deliver it tomorrow. Because um, as it is Sunday today. So hopefully she will deliver it tomorrow for me it was so weird to text my hermes delivery driver if you know what i mean it was kind of a bit strange but you know not to worry um anyway i'm gonna chill i might actually i might actually edit a video because i have been filming a lot of videos lately and i did have a few scheduled on my channel and i think they're now uploaded now so I think I will go and edit a vlog. Also, it's so uh, sunny outside, so I apologise if you can't see me. Um, I think I'll just like chill, do some editing. I think I might have some more sweets because they are so addictive. Honestly, I love sweets and chocolate so much. It's like my favourite thing ever. Um, and honestly, my carpets smell of like linen, like cotton and vanilla as well. Because I did use a vanilla shake and a vac as well to make it smell nice as well. So my room is smelling lovely. Love it a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have a little chill and I do whatever I want to do really. I decided not to edit and instead watch Anastasia's moving vlogs. Who else is loving her moving vlogs at the minute? Also, I am eating more food again because I am turning to a fat bitch right now. Um, and these sweets, can I just say, out of this world, unreal. Love them so much. I think these will be gone by next week if not even earlier because they are so addictive but yeah i'm gonna go and enjoy this and then i might do some editing afterwards but the thing is it does take a lot of time and motivation to edit videos because especially if they're like 40 minutes long you'd not want to be editing a video for like over 40 minutes because it's just like so boring this is the reality of lockdown isn't it like no one has much motivation to do anything really um i've hardly been going on any walks i think i've only been on a couple this week but like it's been so cold and in cumbria it's literally been flooding like everywhere but it's kind of okay now especially in carlisle it does flood a lot as we have a lot of mountains surrounding like the, the cumbria all the water like runs down the mountains into the city and just floods it and then everywhere is just underwater pretty much but yeah on a positive note i'm gonna go and enjoy these and i'll, I'll be enjoying anastasia's vlogs while i eat these beauties and i will see you once i have done some editing hopefully or if not i probably have I finished the whole bag of these. <laughs> I've also made a new uploading schedule now. So I will be uploading on a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday every week during a lockdown at 5pm. The reason why I said during a lockdown is because um, in lockdown I hardly have anything to do apart from the college and YouTube. And I do have a lot of free time obviously. So I want to try and upload as much as I can um, and also... Like, after lockdown has 
ended if it ever does hopefully it will end in a few months her fingers crossed who knows um i, I will be going back to work probably if i do have a job to go back to hopefully i will um so yeah and i usually work the weekends and like fridays and everything like that um so yeah but for now i'm going to try and upload as much as i can on my channel because i know that a lot of people are wanting more uploads from me which is really nice to see actually because I feel as if I'm quite a boring person, I have a boring life. I suppose people are quite interested in watching other people's lives on YouTube. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Like, in a way, but it's quite intriguing, isn't it? Um, but yeah, and also, a lot, of, a lot of people have been asking me what I used to vlog on. I, I actually use my iPhone SE at the minute. I do have a camera, but it is a DSLR camera, and obviously it's too heavy to vlog with, and I just have a viewfinder on it, but... I am planning in the future or around my birthday to maybe get a vlogging camera or a new camera with a viewfinder on it so that I'll be able to vlog on it and it will make my life so much easier for vlogging on and also the quality will be even better so I've been having a look online but some of them are very expensive like £400 probably even more which I suppose it will be worth it because cameras do last years if you look after them well but a lot of money to fork out for like you know if you're like a student or a young person who is trying to save for like other things like a car or whatever else it may be um but yeah but also my skin is looking very oily today i did put a little bit of my i did put a little bit of my neutrogena moisturizer on but it's showing through now and my eyebrows need waxed asap i am aware they look very out of shape and hairy and my upper lip is so bad as well my upper lip seriously needs done because every time i put foundation on you can literally see like dark hairs of like on my upper lip and it's so embarrassing and i need to get them waxed but i suppose i won't be going anywhere if i do go in the shop i will be wearing a face mask so who will see my upper lip anyway but um yeah i really fancy a trip to b&m sometime I will have to go before Thursday, I think, because I'm actually working for Scott now. He does pay me for working because he does have, like, a, a cake business, so he pays me. And I usually work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, usually, or, like, a Thursday to Saturday, um, as his business is booming at the minute. And he really needed to hire someone, and obviously, I'm not working at the minute, so he asked me if he wanted to go and work with him. And I said, yes, of course. Um, so I am currently working for Scott at the minute and I will, be, I will be able to spend his birthday with him which I'm so happy about because he will be turning 20 and I was really scared that I wouldn't be able to see him and luckily I'm working for him now so I'll be able to spend his birthday with him I will I will be going to B&M to buy some like things for his birthday like some banners or something or some balloons I'm not quite sure yet but it's all exciting time to water our plants honestly i have been forgetting to water my plants all the time and like i'm surprised they're even alive this one over here which is huge now um i think i bought this a couple of years ago and honestly it's really big and then i have like all my cactuses on here i've had these for absolutely ages i've got like a big fairy one pink ball as well i like to water them in a certain order yes i'm i'm, I'm really weird also i have my 18 cake the top is in there. Has a memory of my 18th birthday, which was a year ago. Can't believe my 18th was like over a year ago. I'm 19 now. What the hell? Um, I also have half a breeze like hair freshener thing in my room. It's a Christmassy scent one, and it smells lovely. And then I'm gonna go and water these. I love the little house for this. I got it from Primark. Um, it used to be a rose gold house. However, all the sunlight has all the sunlight has uh, turned it gold but honestly i love it so much i love gold at the minute i'm obsessed with it but i'm just gonna water all these and then yeah just chill as it is a sunday today we will be having a roast chicken sunday dinner honestly i love having sunday dinner on sunday who else has a sunday roast on sunday i'm sure a lot of people do honestly roast chicken is my favorite meat i, I like i literally could eat that all the time i, I could turn it into one to because i do eat it so much but um yeah, I'll be having a Sunday roast today and my ultimate 
favourite thing on Sunday dinner is roast potatoes. Like, I always go her back for thirds on roast potatoes because they are just the best thing. I love everything on the chicken for dinner, to be honest, but roast potatoes just have a place in my heart. Yeah, um, I look so tired because I don't have any makeup on and I think I did have a ten and a half hours sleep, so I don't know how I still look tired when I've had so much sleep. Also, it's like a quarter past four almost and it's still so light outside i feel as if it's getting lighter again um which is very good because i do hate it when it does get very dark outside like early also i just got a text off my hermes a delivery a woman so and she said she will be delivering my parcel tomorrow hopefully so i'm pretty happy about that not i'm not gonna lie um i do have scott's presents all wrapped underneath my bed now and i have got him some really nice presents which i'm sure he will love a lot honestly i've been watching youtube videos i've been watering plants i've been cleaning my room so i feel as if i've kind of had a little bit of a productive day but sunday is a day for rest it's a lazy day isn't it that's why i love having like a nice sunday like chill day in comfy clothes i don't know when the last time I wore jeans was, but it was a very long time ago. There is nothing worse than wearing jeans in bed, like chilling in the house. I don't know how some people can do it. I'm sorry, but I am not one of those uh, people who can just wear jeans around the house. If you're staying in all day, I just can't do it. Hence why I wear my sexy joggers, my baggy ones. <laughs> um, I could actually do, I could actually do with a few more pairs of joggers to be honest but to be honest i need to save all my money because i'm on furlough and i think i only get like 80 percent of my pay or something like that i think so money is a bit tight to the minute look at that chicken roast dinner oh, it is the favorite meal of the week especially roast potatoes i am now back up in my room honestly that Sunday dinner was amazing. The roast chicken was amazing. The roasts were incredible. The oxygen puddings were absolutely to die for. And the vegetables were like, just like, you know, nice. <laughs> and the gravy was unreal as well. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had the best tea. I am very full. I did have a mini egg a pudding after it. And it was so good. Who else loves a mini eggs? Because I'm obsessed with mini eggs. I feel as if this vlog is kind of like an eating vlog today. But I have been eating a lot today, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you all. Like, I have been very hungry. Um, so that is probably why I have showed you basically all my meals in today's video. But yeah, but I am going to end this vlog here. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you have, I'm really out of breath. I don't know why. If you have, make sure to leave a, thumb, a, thumb, a thumbs up, a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. I really want to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April. So please subscribe. It is completely free. And it would honestly make my day if you guys could subscribe. So please do that for me. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye for